submerged in God's river of resurrection living water flowing out of your inner being transforming your entire life and transforming the world around you let's explore God's river of life the prophet Ezekiel had a vision of the river of life starting as a little stream flowing out of the temple of God which then becomes a vast river that no one can cross. The temple of God in Ezekiel's vision represents your innermost being, your belly, deep within you where God's river flows. As the river flowed from the temple of God, Ezekiel stepped out, being led by the Spirit, ankle deep and then knee deep into the river of life. The Spirit of God leading him further out just imagine Ezekiel as he stood knee deep in the water of life. The surging, revitalizing river of life surging round his legs. It must have been exhilarating, an experience he never had before. As he walked out into the deep, whoo, waist deep, whoo, waist deep, whoa. The fire of God flooding his being. He was feeling better than he'd ever felt before. But that wasn't the end. There was yet further and deeper to go. Greater promises, greater experience in the fullness of God. Going further out into deep water. Whoa! Oh, up to his chest. Whoa! And then neck deep. Hey! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Neck deep. And then in over his head. What an exhilarating experience as he was submerged in God's river of life, the fire of God surging through his entire being. One of the most amazing promises Jesus made. Anyone who believes in me, he said, out of your innermost being will flow rivers of living water, surging forth within you, rivers of resurrection life, flowing out of your belly, out of your innermost being, to transform your life and to transform the world. Recently, I was at a conference here in London and people were being gloriously filled with the Holy Spirit and with fire as they were submerged in God's river of resurrection life. I was asking people the question, who is the Holy Spirit to you? And what is your experience of him? And these two young women answered brilliantly. Here they are. What's your name? Uh, my name is Sarah. Sarah. Okay, nice to meet you, Sarah. Nice to meet you. Who is the Holy Spirit to you and what is your experience? From my heart, like the Holy Spirit is the closest, most intimate friend I have. Wow. Uh, he's the one who connects me to the supernatural and, and through him I can enter into realms that I, I never knew existed. Wow. Um, he showed me uh, the deepest love that God has for me oh. and he always been with me as a guide, as a teacher Okay. Um, and as, as someone who always comforted me when I needed it, wow. gave me strength and um, told me of things that I, I really didn't know before. Yes, yes. So, uh, I couldn't ever live without the Holy Spirit and yes, I yes. don't think that there is real Christianity without a close relationship with the Holy Spirit. Okay. What an amazing answer. Do you want to say anything else? <laughs> what I would add is that um, I grew up Christian Okay. and since my childhood I really felt that there was a person always with me introducing me to truths 
okay. uh, on a personal level, okay. not as a theology, but as a as a reality that wow. is much more real than what we can see around us, yes. what we can touch or what we can what we can hear or smell. Yes. It's much, much more real. And it was the most exciting journey of my life. And okay. it's getting more and more exciting as I go further and further. So I think Christianity is worth living because of the Holy Spirit who brings Jesus um, close to our hearts and just um, you know, Jesus is present in our lives through the Holy Spirit. You know, I invite everyone who hasn't uh, received the Holy Spirit yet, just ask God and open your hearts, okay. open your minds, and That's you will be surprised. That's amazing. You, you said something there about uh, it's more than just theology. Yep. It's uh, how you defined it, but it was it's very personal, good. How you, personal relationship. That it's not just, it's about having like head full of no, scriptures, no. although the Holy Spirit will use the scriptures, yeah, but, but he'll make he, them living reality he in our hearts. to heart. your spirit, not to your mind, yes. usually. Yes, yes. So first you receive in your spirit, and yes. then the information goes up to your mind. Mm -hmm. Let it transform you. So. Yes. Yeah. Who's the Holy Spirit to you? Who is he? What is he? And what's your experience? Yeah, like uh, he's a huge helper, okay. like a guider, like... Uh, okay. It's it's like um, a river and the wind. It it just goes, and I, yes, I'm I'm yeah. I'm trying to follow him wherever uh -huh. um, he goes. Uh, usually quite unpredictable, I have to okay. say. But uh, but there's a lot of love in his personality. Yes. Um, as as he's a person, really. Yes. Yes. And. Um, and I cannot even imagine my Christian life and yes. my life without him. Yes. Uh, it's, uh, you know, I was, uh, when Jesus said that it's better for you that I, I leave because I'm uh -huh. going to send the spirit. Yes. In the beginning, I didn't understand that. Like, I mean, right. how come? Like, I mean, Jesus yes. is, is really uh, like in person. I mean, how cool that could be. Yeah, but now I understood amazing. like that that really a spirit is is doing the same awesome works of Jesus and God. Awesome. <laughs> and um, and now that Jesus in person has has gone of course yes. he's in our hearts but but the the spirit is doing the same things yes. through us. Yes. Which is like a, a really it's a huge gift that yes. uh, we can be a part of uh, God's work yes. in people's yes. lives. So That's amazing. Holy Spirit is uh, is my favorite. <laughs> you you just what's your name? Uh, Gabby. Gabby, Gabby, you just said something there, that from John, where it says that Jesus said it's better that I go yeah. away, but then I'll send the Spirit. Yeah. I used to read that as well and think, wow, what does that mean? When he said it's better that I go away because then I will come and I'll be in you by my Spirit. When the Spirit, what you just said about the Spirit dwelling in, this is what the Holy Spirit showed me, is when the Spirit dwells in you, you're not just looking at Jesus from the outside. Yeah, but from you're, the inside. You're experiencing what Jesus experiences when he feels compassion. You're not just, you're, you can experience internally what it means to walk on water because you've got the same life. Mm -hmm. as Christ, the Holy Spirit. So you're having an internal experience of Jesus, not just look like sort of looking at him at a physical form going, wow, that's amazing. How did he walk on water? But now you're actually experiencing that life, that the above and beyond. Heart. Really the same heart uh, as, as uh, Jesus and God has, like uh, the same heart for the, for the lost, for the sick, for the heavy hearted, for, for those who are unsaved, who don't know him. So it's, it's really the, the same well in us yes. and it, it comes up it, it bubbles up and um, and therefore we can do the same things that Je uh, jesus did yes. and that's the the whole point that's amazing <laughs> so i'm here in uh uh royal docks at the axel center and we're at a conference holy ghost and fire with rodney howard brown and all the people i'm meeting here are holy ghost fanatics yeah <laughs> holy spirit they all know the holy spirit and i just encourage believers who have little experience of the holy spirit to connect with ministries that talk about the manifest reality of the person of the holy spirit 
in a personal way in our life. The Holy Spirit leads us out step by step, first ankle deep. But you've got to take that step as the Holy Spirit opens your eyes to his life-giving river. You take that step of faith, ankle deep. Then he leads you out knee deep. Then he leads you out waist deep. Then he leads you out neck deep. Then you're submerged. Hello, nice to meet you out here in the middle of the river. Do you want to come in for a swim? <laughs> then he leads you out where you're in over your head in the depth of his being, absolutely submerged in the life-giving waters of his Holy Spirit, and you are made whole, a manifest son of God. Oh, the wonder. Okay, I wanna share with you my first experience with the Holy Spirit, but let's go and have a coffee. So, my first experience with the Holy Spirit. I heard the wonderful scripture, anyone who believes in me, out of their innermost being will flow rivers of living water. And I hadn't had any experience with the Holy Spirit and I took hold of this verse and believed it. I just walked believing it was true, although I experienced nothing. After two weeks, I walked into my bedroom and a whole new dimension of my inner being opened up and I experienced rivers of liquid fire and resurrection life flooding and bubbling up and flowing out from within me like a powerful river. God exploded on the inside of me in resurrection life as his Holy Spirit poured out of me in my inner being in rivers of fire. And I literally experienced rivers of fire flooding out from my innermost being, my belly. My eyes were opened to the reality of resurrection life because I was experiencing the same power which raised Jesus from the dead. And when this explosion of divine power and resurrection life poured forth from within me, a whole new part of my being came into existence. The real me resurrected with Christ in God. My eyes were open to God's universe, God's di God's world, God's dimension, God's kingdom. I saw things out of his divine nature. I saw through the eyes of love and through the eyes of pure wonder, pure spirit. This was my first experience with the Holy Spirit. The ultimate purpose of the Holy Spirit is to affirm us and reveal to our hearts that we are sons of God. Romans chapter 8 talks about the Holy Spirit bearing witness with our spirit, speaking to our spirit saying, you are in the family, you're a son, and by which we cry, Abba, Daddy God. There's a wonderful scripture in 1 Corinthians which says, No eye has seen, no ear has heard, neither has it entered into the heart or imagination of man what God has prepared for those who love him. But God has revealed these things to us by his Spirit who now lives in us. We have not received the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God that we may understand in our living experience what God has freely given us. The Holy Spirit is all about opening up the God dimension to us, where we see the kingdom realm, the kingdom of heaven, not in a far off planet somewhere, but in our living experience right here, right now. The Holy Spirit makes heaven manifest in you, in the here and now. And once the Spirit has led you step by step out into deep waters, you can then dive in to the deep.
and have a lot of fun doing so. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Dive out into the deep waters of God's spirit. Come on in. The water is warm. Stay submerged in God's river of life. Thank <laughs> you.